incredibly technical. Yeah, very technical. They have to find ways to win. And yep. if you find those ways to win in the gym, they fly very, very well and they translate to competition. Also, women are better at multitasking and they have more of a, uh, yeah, just a mind for a multitude of things. They can compartmentalize things quite well. So, here we go. We're going to see tonight female fight of the evening. Our sole female fight. Oh, we got Haley Valentine a little bit later. Yes. Okay, so this is our penultimate female fight. <laughs> is Battle Arena 52, brought to you by Filter Free, Blizzard Sport, and Battle Ready Fight Management. There we go. There was a bit of a weight difference here. Erica weighed in at 67.5 for this featherweight title, so about three pounds over the limit, and uh, her opponent weighed in at 65. Ooh, so it could be a bit of a size difference. We'll see if that will play in. Allow me to introduce an opponent into the blue corner. Jasmine Hamid. Now you know a little bit about Jasmine. Tell us, Steve. I used to teach her English when she was in year nine. <laughs> that she's wasn't what I was expecting. She was quite <laughs> clever, actually. Um, no, she, I've, I know a few things about her. Um, she's an ECKA European kickboxing champion. She's defending it multiple times. She's an all-around competitor. She's been dying to get into MMA. I've been talking to her about that for almost a year time. She's done some training over at Roger Gracie Academy. She's developed a very strong camp around her. And there you'll see in her corner, Kev Capel, as well as that dude with the cool dreads. That's her father. So it's a family affair tonight. And her brother's there with her as well. And they're looking for her to make her MMA debut and a great one at that. She's representing the Tipton Tigers, which are right out here in, Bur in Birmingham. Jasmine gives back to that to that organization by coaching the, the kids' classes. She's just an all-around martial artist and really wants to grow up from the grassroots up. And he, even though she's got Roger Gracie black belt Kev Capel in the corner, really she's a, a striker. She wants kicks on their feet. Is that what you're thinking? Well, you never know. She's been she's had a few looks. She's definitely done a multitude of classes over there at RGA Bucks. And you know, you can, you know, when you're an all-around athlete like Jasmine Harmon, you can bring those in more readily than you can if you're just learning it from the ground up. So we're going to see a really strong performance, I think, from both these females okay. in a few moments. Battle Arena presents three three-minute rounds of amateur mixed martial arts in the 66 kilogram weight division. Introducing first in the red corner, representing Team Underground. Erica Across the cage, her opponent in the blue corner, representing Tipton Tigers, Jasmine Harmit. Let's get down Just to Just another this. day at the office for Jasmine Harmit and, and yeah. Erica Verhoeven. We have. Jasmine in the blue shorts and Erica in the purple. This is Battle Arena 52, Edge Baston Stadium. Mm -hmm. Everyone has been looking forward to this fight. I think as a kickboxing champion, Jasmine's got to be aware of the takedown early on. There's a touch of gloves. Very interesting to see her. She's got that long guard going on. See more of a standard Ooh. guard there from Erica. Jasmine looks very Muay Thai ish. Interesting what she's doing with their footwork. Both of them a little bit tentative here. Yeah. You've had, you can have hundreds of kickboxing fights, hundreds of matches, but when you get in there in MMA, it's just different. Oh, nice There's the kick. catch. I think, I think Erica was timing that. She was hoping for that. We've got a strong cross face there from Jasmine Harmy. She's keeping her off the legs. This can be difficult. If you're, if you're a, a striker, it can be very exhausting. This grappling. Yeah, starting to, to really have these grappling exchanges. Jasmine Harmit's got an underhook on her left side. She can hike that up. Looks like she's going for more of a kind of a Muay Thai clinch or a plum. Mm -hmm. Just have an underhook. Oh, nice. Very, Very strong. Look at that. Oh, Big lovely. Right hand hook. lands on the way out. You don't see a lot of this bouncing that Jasmine Harmit's doing. So she's got a very interesting stance. I love that. That, that guard, that Muay Thai style guard, just hanging out a little bit in front. Clearly, light foot, a little bit of foot feints from both of them. Mm -hmm. 
Nice go, jab. Big, right hands. big strikes. Wow, Boom. she followed that up. This was some of the crispest striking I've seen here at MMA Battle Arena. She follows up with a head kick. That's got to have Erica thinking twice. Oh. Big right hand. Big right hand. Oh, follows got up. the underhook. That's good. Jasmine leaning on her. I'd like to see a different head position from Jasmine Harmeet, maybe under the chin. Great knees. She's got to watch. She didn't get all oh, excellent separation. This is very strong here. Very strong debut from Jasmine Harmeet so far. Erica's got to find something different, maybe go down towards, towards legs, drop levels, fake high, go low. I mean, Erica's doing a good job of staying calm. She doesn't look too flustered. Still the same thing, picking shots. Both ladies very respectful of each other's power. Erica's just looking that a little bit more flat-footed now. Lead right hand. Very good, very good technique for both both fighters so far. I mean, just Jasmine's just got those feints all the time. It just keeps Erica guessing, and I think that's why she's now a little bit flat-footed and and worried because she never knows when Jasmine's actually throwing or just fainting. Oh, just. Calls for underhooks from America's corner there, but she, she's beaten to the punch, literally, by Jasmine Harmy, who's backing her up. Great hit pressure, but, ooh, that's the control. That's interesting, that's interesting. Ooh, looking for a trip. It's gonna be difficult from that over -wrap position. Big knees come up. Oh, nice knee. Good right hand on the break from Erica. This is brilliant. This is very, very good from both, both ladies there. Nice it's a mix of styles here. I Very think good. The most technical round we've seen this evening Definitely. here at Battle Arena 52. Definitely the most technical striking thus far. Yeah, nice feints and, from both And Erica ladies. doing very well to back her up from that, that position there where she, she was on a she was double underhooks. Jasmine that grip over top. Jasmine doesn't look at all tired, whereas Erica is breathing heavy, sat on the stool. Erica looks. I mean, Jasmine is fixing her hair, chatting to Brazilian Jiu Jitsu Black Belt Kev Capel. Erica is looking much more tired. Now, I know I mentioned that you can be in many kickboxing fights and you get a different flavor here in MMA. However, that being said, when you've been in that position before, you've landed those punches, you've landed those kicks, you're feeling that confidence coming back. You know, you know you've been in the fight game before. You know you've been in a fight before. Just do the same things. And Erica, unfortunately, doesn't seem to have an answer quite yet for what is going on. But maybe she'll be switching some positions. She's getting a lot of intense instruction from her corner. Let's see what happens. There's the call. Second round is about to start. Here we go. So what's the scenario? Jasmine in the blue shorts. Erica in the purple. I mean, if I was Jasmine, I'd be noticing that my opponent is a lot more tired. Stay nice and calm, just let her wear herself out. I want to see her go to the body a few times then. This is, Erica's just a lot more. They came out and both of them were bouncing really well and throwing feints, but Erica's just now looking a little bit heavier on her feet. Still throwing the feints. There we go. Jasmine's so patient. I wonder if she's trying to, I wonder if Jasmine's trying to suck her into a counter. Oh, lovely leg kick. Very crisp, very strong. Oh, went to the that body, then to the head. Came right at the right time. I think Erica's marching forward because she actually got stung by that. Sometimes but you try and get the point back when you get hit. Yeah, you definitely don't want to be... Oh, lovely leg kick in the middle kick. there. Oh, lovely right hand got through. Big knee up the middle now coming from Jasmine Harmy. Jasmine did a really good job there of not giving away those underhooks. She's got the double underhooks up. Calls for hips back. Knees can come to the body and the legs here. Every time Erica's taken a little bit of damage, she's done a good job of tying it up. It's just every time that she does tie it up, she's giving away those double underhooks. Very strong here. Jasmine Harmy with double underhooks. It's very impressive because sometimes um, kickboxers will go to overhooks because there's a natural reaction. You clinch up and wait for the ref to separate you. But Jasmine's adapted her styles well, and every time they finish, got those double underhooks. Good pressure at the middle. There's a bit of a no blow there. Or low blow, but Erica's continued on. Similar position Great as before. Pressure. Erica using that underhook to try to reverse the position. And Jasmine just marching her back into the cage. This is a real pleasure as your former year nine English teacher to call this. It's really good so far. 
Big knees coming up the middle. She's got, she's doing very nice. high level stuff there, Chris. Landing knees to the thighs you and holding the cage. It's also fairly high level. Hey, exactly. You know, <laughs> you got to play the game. If you ain't cheating, you ain't trying. <laughs> There we go. Let's, I just want to see oh, a little great. adjustment on the head position of Jasmine Harmy. Getting Eric using to get a good that. job of digging underhooks then. There we go. There we oh, go. Oh, and got the, the takedown off it, but can't Jasmine reverse on top. Reversed. Very impressed with that reversal. And calls to push the face as possible. Is that Eric is trying to set up a submission of some kind here Jasmine's walking her into the cage I think trying to get that head up against the cage as you've said many times Chris it's so hard to get any sort of hip movement when it's your head's against the cage yeah I, I'm like guard bottom is is my place to be but when your neck is pressed against the cage you just lose all of it it's just a bad place to be excellent work from Jasmine constant top pressure pushing her back into the cage listening to a corner as well Roger Gracie Blackbuck kept capable. Everything wow. he said, Jasmine followed up and did it straight away. And that's a, that's a sign of a mature fighter. Erica showing a lot of a lot of composure there as well. Stands up, listens to her corner. She tried for that. She tried for that takedown, but really, really excellent stuff from Jasmine Harmit just to be able to reverse the position to to have the wherewithal to use those underhooks to completely reverse that momentum. I think Erica's got a. I mean, if I was her corner, I'm always a bit of a brutalist doing her cornering. If you're two rounds down, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to say, look, you're two rounds down. Let's throw caution to the wind. Let's go for it here. And I would say for Erica, I think the caution to the wind is just to shoot for a takedown. Let's set it up a little bit. I'd tell her to throw something high, then fake the same thing high and shoot underneath. That would be my advice right now. And then maybe if she can get down a takedown and be on top, which she hasn't managed to do this, this fight, that will change the course of it. But definitely in the striking exchange, it's coming off a little bit worse. And in these... Uh, cage grappling exchanges she's come up a little bit worse. This is Ballerina 52. Thank you for turning in on Fight TV. And here we go into the third and final act. What a fight this has been. This is this is amazing action here. Erica Vorobova of Team Underground, Jasmine Harmit of Tipton Tipton Tigers. Here Let's we see. go. Calls to finish strong from Kev Capel in the corner of Jasmine Harmit. I know she wants to finish. She's been working for it all night. No oh, jab lands. Oh, what a kick. Couldn't what see a if knee. That, I couldn't see if that glanced off. And there's the oh, good sprawl there from Harmit. This is what Erica's had to have been doing the whole fight. And she's finally got Now she's got to pull she's got the her legs hands out. connected. No, like oh, she gave it up. Oh, back. That's perfect. Now she's got to pull the legs out and get on top. She's almost in a... Yeah, there's calls to tap to pinch the knees together. Yeah, she is in this. She's in this very strong position. Is Erica Verhova? Jasmine's landed in a corner, getting really good advice there. She's got to put her back up against, which is exactly what she's doing. Underneath. Trying cage walking, just get back to your feet. But Erica's doing a good job of controlling those legs, which is going to make it impossible for Jasmine to wall walk up the cage there. Excellent pressure. Erica's corner getting a little bit desperate, but they know she's two rounds down and in the dominant position in the third, and that can be a, that can definitely be a position of urgency. Jasmine doing well to keep her tied up at the moment, but I think Erica's almost at the point where she can posture up and start landing some punches. I mean, I think Jasmine almost the referee calling for action. She could just tie up the arms and do a bit of old school. Wow. Oh, but it was your reverse position. Almost. She's in a position well, where maybe she gets a half or push back or certainly get her feet to the cage instead of her head. Oh, ground and pound from Erica. Will this be the comeback of the century? Oh. Maybe a little bit well to tie up the hands. Or something. It's management right now. Yeah. Oh, it's a high mount. That is a beautiful mount from Erica. She's got right up under her armpits. Jasmine's doing well. If I was Jasmine's corner, I'd be screaming for her to put her feet on the cage and bridge off the cage, and she might get a little bit more She's leverage well just there. like that. She's as long as she keeps the underhook, she should come up on top. Excellent wow. work. Very powerful work from Jasmine Hermit in <laughs> wow. keeping that victory from almost the jaws of defeat there. Re amazing reversal. And now can, she, now can she dig down deep enough to win the round because she's just been in a very, very desperate situation. This is Battle Arena 52. Brought to you by Blizzard Fightwear. 
Battle Ready Fight Management, Phil Supreme, and the producer, super producer, Kevin, <laughs> with the beautiful grey hair. I don't know what you would say. I think we're. I think he's going. Oh, we're getting nice. Oh, gives out massages as well. <laughs> um, Jasmine's going body, body, head. They're waiting for some sort of break or some sort of position so that Erica can possibly get on top or maybe even set up a, a Last take. Last few seconds. Oh, she's got to try and throw up a submission or something, but Jasmine just, you know, wisely just holding onto that head, nullifying her for the last 10 seconds. She knows she's at least two rounds up. Wow. What a wonderful what a fight. Finish. What a performance by Jasmine. What a good effort by Erica in that last round to try and get a win back. Mm -hmm. Excellent, excellent, excellent contest here at Ballerina 52. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Good job for Jasmine Harmit in her MMA debut. I know this is something that she's looking to make a transition into, and you saw it here first, folks, at MMA Battle Arena. She came in, really crisp striking, kicks, etc. Now we've got to go to the um, judges' scorecards, of course. That was a very, very composed um, composed performance from both, both ladies. They came in there, they were both in very difficult situations, and they managed it well. In the end, sometimes the rounds win. We saw Eric in a very, very strong position there. Almost, it must be just very frustrating for that that corner because she was in the mount, landing some punches, and Jasmine was just staying so composed to control the hands and listen to her corner. Here we go for the uh, decision. Good show of sportsmanship there. Hugging it out. Yeah, very good work from everyone. But uh, the, the win has got to go to Tips and Tigers here. You should, th you should think so, but here we go. You never know. There's the result. You never know. But they do have super judge Marty Wolf judging today, so it should be a good decision. He is one of the most uh, impartial judges I've ever seen, Marty Wolf. Okay. Once again, we consult the judges' scorecards here at Battle Arena 52. It is a unanimous decision. To the blue corner, Jasmine Hamid. I couldn't see it going any other way, Chris. That was definitely, definitely a very dominant, dominant Carson, performance from Jasmine. Jasmine, come and have a chat with me. Tough fight. How are you feeling after that one now? Yeah, it was definitely a test. We know she was a little larger than you coming in. Did you feel that way? Did it make an advantage for her? I felt it was really tough, yeah. But you still managed to reverse it. And then on the feet, you were definitely sort of having your way with our lightning fast hands. Yeah, I always stand up better. What was the game plan going in? Was it to keep it standing for the whole fight? Yeah, keep it standing as much as possible as much as the ground can be. So plan B works as well though. You still controlled your top top game even when, when you was on top, landed some good shots. Are you happy with your performance? What would you like to change about it? I need to work on the ground game. So. Yeah, definitely something to work on then. So what's next for you after this one? I'm resting. Been in fight camp all year, so we'll see what next year brings. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Ladies and gentlemen, let's hear it again for your winner, Jasmine Harmon.